Welcome back to my animal education series. Today I'm going to teach you guys about the North American porcupine. The North American porcupine is the second largest rodent in North America, second only to the beaver. These are short, stocky animals with short legs and a short face and are covered in modified hairs called quills, which I will get to in a second. These porcupines are found on the eastern part of the United States, from Canada down the Appalachian Mountains, and then on the western part of the United States, from Canada down to the northern mountains of Mexico. So with those quills, again, they are actually modified hairs, and porcupines, contrary to popular belief, don't actually throw their quills. These quills are more of stuck into the predator that they find threatening. What they will do when a predator, like such as a wolf, a bear, hawk, or a coyote tries to attack them, they will turn their back towards the predator and slowly back up, cluck their teeth together, and swing their tail. And if the predator is still not backing up and keeps getting closer, then they will swing their tail at the predator and whack it and get all these quills stuck in them. So these quills actually have an antibiotic in them. So if they accidentally stick themselves or another porcupine or a predator, it's actually not going to get infected from that. I forgot to mention that the word porcupine comes from the French word meaning thorn pig. These porcupines are slow moving and nocturnal animals. So when you see them at a zoo, chances are they're up sleeping in a tree or in a hide box that the zoo has provided for them. I also talk about sleeping, porcupines do not truly hibernate. Really, they just take really long naps. So in the late fall to early winter, you might see a porcupine sleeping up in a tree before it moves down into its den for its longer rest. And sometimes they'll wake up during the middle of the winter and they'll just go out, eat some more tree bark, and then return back to the den. Now let's talk about what porcupines eat. Porcupines have a diet out in the wild of primarily conifer needles and tree bark. In zoos, you see porcupines eating sweet potatoes, carrots, yams, and other root vegetables like that. If you thought dating was difficult, then try to imagine being a porcupine. It all starts off with the female going through the woods, excreting a mucus on the forest floor. Then the male will find that trail and then follow it to the female, where he then will urinate on the female, and that will send her into full estrus, and then the breeding process commences. While that is happening, they both will lay down their quills as to not hurt each other. But a porcupine's typical pregnancy lasts for about 202 days. And when porcupines are first born, their quills are actually soft and will harden up after a couple of days. According to the IUCN, the North American porcupine is listed as least concern. And if you ever have the opportunity to watch these animals out and about interacting with their environment, they're truly awesome animals to watch, as I have some of the clips in this video here. And they're truly awesome animals that I really didn't take a whole lot of time to get to know before, but I'm really glad I did the research and watched a bunch of videos for this. So thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. Don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I'll see you next week.